And here's the thing I want everyone to know. Everybody, no matter if you've started your formal puppy training because your puppy's five months old or not, you have started training your puppy. You start training your puppy the moment it comes into your home. I'm gonna share with you these five games. Our first game, we want to build confidence. We want to establish for the puppy that training is fun. So that involves just high rates of reinforcement, a lot of good rewards. And since Archer doesn't know me at all, just met me on, when he licked my face two seconds ago. What we're going to do is I'm going to just let Archer know I'm a Pez dispenser. Do you guys remember those Pez dispensers? You lift the, the head and out pops candies that you loved. What, what is that, a Pez dispenser? Yeah. You want one? So I want to teach Archer, I'm a Pez dispenser. Being around me is really cool. Good things happen. What I want to do is I want to throw, I've got these really good homemade cookies and I'm going to throw these cookies in, um, this is the bottom of a crate. So we want our dogs to love a crate. The reason, the main reason I'm using the bottom of a crate, there you go, is because if I just threw these in the corner, um, they would bounce through the, the x -ray. Hi, little guy! So I get one cookie and I throw it in there and he's learning that, hey, this lady's fun. He comes back out. See how the tail's starting to wag now? Throwing it in there. Oh, he probably didn't see that one go. I'm gonna have to pick it up. Moving a little too fast. So I'm gonna move closer. You have a young puppy, let's move closer. Throw it in there. Hey, training is fun. That's all we're learning. Come on, buddy. All right, so that is the first game. Get in there. Training is fun. Yay, Archer! Uh, Game two, all I want to teach Archer is that I love my name. All right, so now I'm going to throw the cookie in there, and when he's eating it, I'm going to say, Archer! Yay! He comes back, and he gets another cookie. Two cookies for one. Ready? Archer! Now I know that he's going to go after that cookie, I'm gonna add a second word. And this word is gonna mean, look for cookies on the floor. Permission to eat cookies off the floor. So all I'm gonna say, now with my own dogs, I use the word search, but Amy's teaching Archer actually to be a search and rescue, to, or to use his nose and do his nose work. So she's gonna use that cue. So I'm just gonna use the word cookie. I say the word, then I throw the cookie, Archer. And then he come, I say his name and he gets another cookie. So two words he's learning right now. Ready? So I say, cookie, throw the cookie. He eats it, I say, Archer, yay. Now notice that I'm not showing him the cookie and then throwing it and then saying cookie. I'm saying the word, which means nothing, cookie. And then I throw it, Archer, yay. Pretty soon, he's gonna learn that the word cookie means, look for cookies on the floor, man, there's cookies on the floor. Cookie, look at him already start going. Archer, yes! Uh, We're moving on to, I love this place. All right, so what's gonna help the puppy learn that he loves a place in the voice of Oscar the Grouch a little bit is reinforcement. So I'm going to, Close this up, close this X pen up, because I want the puppy not to try and climb out of the X pen. I don't want the puppy to go nuts when he goes in the X pen. I want him to love this place. So here's what we're gonna do. Notice I'm keeping Archer on leash. Ready? Keeping Archer on leash for this. So, cookie! <laughs> Come here, Archer. Ready? Here we go, here we go, cookie! Yay! Archer! Yay, he's getting a second cookie for being in this bed. Ready? We'll try it again. Cookie! Goes in there. Archer! Yay! So coming towards me, I say his name. Going away from me, I say the word cookie. And I throw it. Archer! So, you know, your puppy's name is really important. A lot of people do what we call poison. They poison the puppy's name by saying it over and over and over and over. Archer! Yeah, 
Do you see how he responds to his name? Because Amy doesn't use it over and over. Because I haven't used it over and over. Cookie! Yeah. We're teaching him that there's something about this place. Something important about this place. So when I say his name, Archer! Yay! He's not going to get the cookie now till he goes in this place. Now, when I stood here, he was going in that place all the time. Why? Because, oh, thank you for the extra cookie. Win. He, he came here because I was here. Now I'm making him make a choice. Choices are what help to exhaust the puppy brain. So I'm waiting for a choice for him to decide to get in that bed. Good things happened here. Really good things happened here. I want to get in here again. All right, cookie. Now I'm not even going to say his name anymore because I don't want to come directly to me. I want him to go in that bed. So I'm not going to say his name. I'm going to see if he figures it out. And this is what helps exhaust puppies is their brain has to start working how did I get that cookie before? I said the word, didn't I? I said the word cookie. I shouldn't have. And if your puppy doesn't get it, you can help him. Not by putting a cookie in here. I said the word again. Darn it. <laughs> Yay! You could help him by taking one step closer. Cookie! Yeah! So we got the one for there. Yay! Good boy! All right, so we're teaching him there's something about this spot. All right, I'm gonna move the dog crate out. Now, do you see how easy this would be to put a crate top on top of this and then play the game with the crate top on there and teaching the puppy? Guess what, going in your crate is a good thing. It's a fun thing. It's nothing, you shouldn't get upset about that. We're moving along really fast here for Archer. I'm teaching him now. Now I can move. Remember the word cookie? Told him to look for something on the floor. Where now when I get him in this spot, I'm going to give him a new word, which means you can move. So we get him in here. Yay, goodbye. So I'm gonna give him that. Now I'm gonna tell him a new word, followed by a word he already knows. Break, cookie, right? So the word break means you now have permission to move. So it's easier to sit beside me, probably because his mom has played games where he sits beside her. But I want him to get in that bed because all good things start from the bed. And all this play in the X-Pen means that when I want to leave him in the X-Pen, he's comfortable. He doesn't feel like he's in jail. That's where I got my cookie before. So I'm just going to help him by stepping over here. Good boy! But I'm not going to give him the exact same cookie. I'm going to give him a cookie for staying in there. Now I'm going to say his release. Cook oh, I'm going to say his word, break, then followed by cookie. Break! Cookie! Oh, good boy. Nice. nice. There. Break. Cookie. And he gets another one. So barking means the cookies get turned away. We don't like barking. We don't like a puppy saying, feed me now. Super good, super good. Here. All right, so we've learned a lot. So Archer, <laughs> Archer's learned, I love to work. And then he's learned his name. He learned that the, his name's only gonna be called once and then good things happen. Then he's learned that this spot's important. So if I was to open this crate up now, open the X-Pen up so Archer can go anywhere he wants. Anywhere he wants. Where is he going to go?
And a lot of people don't allow the puppy time to think. They think, oh, he's struggling, he's failing, I have to help him, I have to give him cookies. Does he look sad? His ears are on top of his head. He's having fun. What earned my cookies? Good baby! Good baby! Yay! Okay, so now we're going to teach him the final game, and that is four on the floor. You have to wait till the cookies come to you, because if you jump up, you don't get them. All right, I don't want the puppy, hi Archer, hi Archer, jumping up on me. He says, okay, if I stay in this spot, I get cookies. So the puppy is learning the appropriate way to greet people. And if you see something you want, you don't just come and steal it. So Archer's learned this game a little bit already. The cookies are in my hand, but you don't come and steal them. But if I say, break, cookie, you can come out. Yay! All right. So that is a lot of learning for a little wee puppy. That was game number five. And there was a lot of different things we taught Archer. We taught four on the floor, four rewards. We taught what you see you can get, but you have to earn it. You can't steal it, right? And he also learned, I am in control of all good things. If I, if I do my job, good things come to me, all right? So all those things, everything's a game within a game. All of those things, that puppy's learning, and it's, it's a huge benefit because we're engaging their brain, we're engaging their nose, we're engaging their, their um, sense of smell, their taste, we're engaging them physically, and they have to make decisions. You can just see the wood burning as he's deciding, how did I get that cookie? Then he goes out for a little pee, comes back, you get a couple hours to get some work done. So that was maybe, you know, five games in 15 minutes. I would advise you just pick two of those to play with your dog or puppy and play those to begin with. Okay, guys, that's it for all things puppy t puppies today. Let's engage the puppy's brain, not turn the puppy's brain into mush by being too tough on them or by getting them to follow a piece of food for the rest of their life. Let's engage their brain and, and, and become a part of the team with us because that's the best way to live with a dog. Improve that relationship every single day. All right, let's have some hearts for puppies. I can't do a heart because my, my thing's going to fall over, but look, at this is a pumping heart. Have an awesome rest of your day.